And here's one. Remember, I, I, we started off with someone who's going to give a human sacrifice and sacrifice their child and pass their, their child through the fire. That person deserves to be put to death. Well, look at verse number 9. For everyone that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. And I said most people wouldn't have a problem today saying, yeah, if someone's, you know, killing their child and passing them through the fire, people don't have a problem with, with the death penalty on a person like that. By and large, most people wouldn't have a problem with that. Say, yeah, that guy deserves to die. But then we get to verse number nine. We say, well, what about the person who curses his father or his mother? Now, cursing doesn't mean just using some four-letter word, but cursing is a curse where you're, you're wishing and intending evil and bad upon somebody. And the Bible says that that's so wicked, that's so wrong to do that to your father or your mother, that if you curse your father or mother, you deserve to be put to death. And you know what? Don't think that you're somehow more loving or more compassionate than God is. Oh, I can't believe that we ever... You know what? This is the perfect law of the Lord, and this is what God has prescribed to someone who would curse father or mother. And this should help us to understand how important it is and how much respect that we ought to have for our parents, as, especially as we get into a society where children are lacking respect for their, for their parents more and more continually on a daily basis. This is one of the reasons why we're in the shape we're in today, and this is a whole other sermon. I don't want to get too far on this because we're dealing with the death penalty. But just yesterday, we went out for my daughter's birthday. We went and, and went to a place. It was an urban air, a park, trampoline park, all this stuff. And there was just tons of kids all over the place. And one of the things I just observed was how few children are being raised properly these days, like being raised with manners, being raised to, you know, uh, be able to, to wait in line, to be able to take turns, to be able to just operate and function just in the way that you'd expect them to be able to have to function when they become adults, right? And, and as the day grew on and as more people came, I mean, it literally started to look like just a bunch of animals running around with just no control, no supervision, kids just doing whatever they want. And it was kind of, it was really disturbing at how many there were, because I was able to observe some kids were doing what was right, you know, and you can see they're, they're, they're playing the way they ought to be playing and, and having self-restraint and self-control to be able to enjoy themselves and have fun and run around and still be able to play, but do so in a manner that's, that is appropriate. And, you know, I, that's a whole other sermon I could get into all of the reasons behind that. But one of the big things is that these days you see children not respecting their parents enough, right? And not listening when their parents tell them not to because parents aren't disciplining children the way they ought to be. Parents aren't involved with their kids the way they ought to be. They're giving them devices to let them go off. You know, I'll go off on a rant on all these issues. But when we go back to this, and because people are getting so used to this concept that, oh, yeah, well, kids are just going to do whatever they want to do now, and it's just accepted, instead of saying, no, they ought to be disciplined and raised appropriately, people will hear this law and say, oh, someone curses their father or mother, you, that's a death penalty? That's not that big of a deal. That happens all the time in my house. And see, the more common things are, the more normalized it gets, the less people the more extreme something like this is going to sound, whereas God's saying, no, that is a really bad thing. That's so bad that, you know, that person deserves to be put to death. And if we could, we could align ourselves with what God says is right and righteous, how much better off people would be. I mean, just, just the concept. Now, I'm not saying all those kids I saw were cursing their parents. I'm not saying that at all. It has to do, though, with just this this uh, raising of kids in a society that embraces something like respecting your parents, honoring your father and mother, and, and having that as a core value, as something that's extremely important for the family, being exalted, being promoted, and being, you know, raising your kids in that fashion, that impacts many other areas.